Okay. Here we have my collection of Japanese 60s and 70s guitars. Right here is a Tisco Del Rey. I, I put these on these decals. They were from a model. This was actually the first guitar that I ever bought. I bought it in a department store. The money I saved up from working around the neighborhood. And I still have it. It's a hollow body. Made in Japan. At one point, I took this off, but I had it in my desk and I found it. So I have the original Tisco head badge. I know it was about 12 years old when I bought it, maybe 13. So I would say the guitar is from 1967. I never played it because I wanted a Stratocaster, which I did get a year or two later. And I did, unfortunately, I sold it. But this was my first guitar. Now we have another Tisco. This is also a Tisco, but it's a Tulip. Also from around the same year at the department store. And they call it a Tulip because the body looks like a Tulip. And uh, it's also made in Japan. Made in Japan. And it's, it's made of, I don't know if you can see it, it's like a really cool plywood or something, the neck. So, you got to, it's like thousands of, hundreds of pieces of wood glued together. And it, it's really a cool guitar. Sounds pretty good. And uh, it's a no badge, but it's definitely a Tisco. They made these. And they also have more one pickup and without the tremolo. And now, from the Matsumuku company, which is also almost connected to Tisco, we have a Vantage X35. And this is actually a, a quality guitar. It's called an Avenger, Vantage Avenger. And it, it's a sexy looking guitar. And it really has great action, sounds great. Really nice guitar. They also made guitars that look like strats. But this is the advantage. Got a black made in Japan. Nice to be open that up by the start. It looks great. All black. Nice guitar. Everything works on it. Sounds great. I love it. And now we have a, a tent. And as you can see, they just stencil on tent. And uh, it's got a really nice neck. It's not the rosewood, I guess it's a maple neck. And, uh, Everything is dead inside this guitar, so this is, I got the guts from a, a Stratocaster. I, I, I was able to buy it and it fits. I mean, I, a little space here, but everything fits in there. So it sounds like a modern Stratocaster. The pickups were, I don't know, I couldn't get them to work, so I changed that. But everything else, Original. And, uh, I do have the uh, terminal bar somewhere, but it was just welded in, spot welded to this. So, 
doesn't work. This, I think, could be really good. I've got this guitar for a song at a yard sale and uh, it was in somebody's attic and it's really um, it's a Stratocaster copy but like the head start that one was identical and it's got nice well maybe it's a little bit bigger but doesn't say made in Japan anywhere <laughs> But we know it is. It was Kent. The early Kent's David Bowie played one. So just having that name on a guitar is a good thing for me. Now this is my latest acquisition here for my Japanese collection of lawsuit, pre-fire, what you ever want to call it. Now I got this covered. Uh, two days ago, <coughs> sounds great, SG copy, never, never had a badge on it, underneath the paint there were two little, little filled in holes there, so maybe they were going to put a, a badge on it at one time, now, most people are saying this was uh, a Kent made by the Tisco company, and when you look up Tisco, a lot of people believe this is a Tisco. But all we know is it's made in Japan. The wood is really nice. These tuners are almost similar to the ones. Japanese guitar it's definitely around 67 69 I would say and the pickups are great it's all here except for the tremolo bar which I don't really need I could take one off of my tulip but for now I'm just gonna have it like this because I don't really need it and there it is These are my my Japan made guitars including my first guitar when I was about 13 years old which I still have. Now I got some other guitars but well that's another that's another YouTube video. Subscribe to my channel. Thanks.